Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be diving into this super exciting project, the Goma Sim Industries Custom Product Configurator. And even if you don't have like a passion for racing simulations or you don't own one, this is a super cool project to know more about it. It's one of the most complex projects that I've built so far. And it's packed with a lot of features that I can't wait to show you. Like from the design, and in all of the features, one that I like most is the button and sticker editor. This feature here that you can change colors, change icons on the control. Of course, apply all of the colors at the same time with all of the buttons. There are a lot of things here. Um, I will take this opportunity also to explore the functionalities and show you some of the behind the scenes and look how we built this. So let's get started. Let's take a look at how the model looks in Blender and it was optimized for performance and real-time 3GS experience. It's a very clean model and we faced some challenges to optimize all of these models of course because the models are really detailed but the, the final result looks great and as you can see here we have a little bit of details on the textures itself so the only textures that we have is this panel here with the the carbon fiber texture and everything else is basically svgs that we converted into shapes so we can use as details this can improve performance and this can also scale the mesh without losing any quality and we will see in 3GS how we can create textures for all of those stickers because as you can see here we have the button which is a one piece and then we have the 3D shape for the sticker and this is the element getting the textures from 3GS that are created dynamically every time we click on that button and we change the texture on 3GS we change the options on that panel we create a new texture for that specific button. And yeah, let's dive into the 3GS part now. Activating the debug mode will show us a little bit of behind the scenes, what is happening here. And you have the lever, like the GUI from 3GS to control, for example, the lights that enable us to create the camera positions and everything we need for this specific project here. And we also have, for example, the color of the light that we can dynamically change. And as you can see, we get different results. And what uh, we have also here, it is, let me just refresh so we can see it from the beginning. It is this panel here. And this is where the magic happens for all of those stickers that you can see around. Because on every button that you can see, as we saw on Blender, we have a shape and then we have no texture. That texture is created by 3GS live for every single button. So for example, when I click here and I show this panel, look what happens for, for example, when I change the sticker color. See? We have a new color for that panel. And then when we change the text color, the same happens. And we also have the icon happening there. And why is this important? Because if we only had options, that would be perfect to create all of these textures externally in a different file format. And then we just load on 3GS. But because of this functionality here, we need to customize the name. So for example, if I want to turn this button into an ND button, I can do it. And this is the only way we can achieve this kind of thing. We need to create a hidden canvas, creating the texture. Then we apply that texture in real time in 3GS. And yeah, that's how it is done. Simple, but effective. And again, I can apply the sticker color and then we create all of the textures and the same is happening for the themes. So every time you click here, as you can see, 
we have a different texture. I'm just showing the first button, but this happens for every single button that you can see. And that's how you can create dynamic textures to use on your projects using 3GS. One of the key features of this project, it is the ability to switch between all of the models that we have. And this, it comes the creative part. I could do it in a very simple way. You just click here and then you have a drop down. But I decided to surprise the user. And then when you click here, we have a very unique drop down menu. So it is not a trivial drop down menu. We present the user with different options. They can go through and switch between the different models. And the way the switch work is also unique because every time you change the model, the background is reactive. That background is created using a GLSL shader on 3GS. So every time you change the model, you can see the background doing that fancy animation. And this is really unique and makes the project surprising on every small detail. And this is really important. The way you measure how you use your resources and how you can create unique experiences for your user. Another key aspect, it is the ability to change those themes. And as I showed you, this is created using that uh, off canvas technique. Uh, and the way we can do this is actually allowing the user to download and upload files. So basically JSON file. Every time you create your, your unique configuration, you can export this and then you can import back in another computer if you want. And this is important because this kind of product would require sometimes multiple people taking a look at the same product before buying. So with this functionality, we allow users to send this configuration or even download an image for share with like their friends. And this allow them to customize product with multiple people at the same time, seeing the same thing, which is amazing. And this is also useful because in the end, when you finish your configuration, you can export a JSON file and send to Gomez CM Industries and they will deliver your product exactly the same way you saw in our 3GS experience with all of the colors. Of course, all of the possibilities here are mapped with them. So they have, for example, for this specific product, all of those colors that clients can choose from to receive the product the way they want. And I just showed you on 3GS how you can configure the camera using the GUI control. And what we did here with these camera buttons is just mapped all of the same functionalities and we created a GSAP animation to animate the camera when you press all of these buttons here. And that's why we have this camera animation, which is super great and mimics the images this client has for the products on their homepage, which is, by the way, like one click away. Uh, their official website directs the user to this experience here. Uh, and another thing that I like, it is the way we created this panel here, which allows the user to, to for example, see the LEDs turned on using, of course, post-processing, 3GS. And then we also have the ability to change the lights positions, which is really great because can show details in the product that were not that much visible before. That's why we created this option because sometimes we want to see it in more details. Every time we can create like new functionalities to allow clients to play with the product in a more realistic way. This is the ideal usage for a configurator. And we also have the gamer mode, which is changing the background color, the reactive one, and also the colors of the scene. And this is pretty neat. We can experiment the product in a very unique and different way. And of course, it works with the themes as well. 
and when you change the, co the product, the reactive background also respects the color that the user selected. And all of this is saved locally. So as you can see here, every time that I change a button, for example, and I will change this to black, and I will say this will be this color, and then the text will be yellow. Pretty ugly, I don't like it. Uh, but anyway, when you save, you see this saves, change saved here up in the top bar. And then when you switch between models, uh, all of those changes that you applied it will be saved even if you refresh your browser. So we are using local storage to keep all of the data synced between the browser and the UI, which is pretty amazing because sometimes people forget about it and then they want to come back and continue. They can continue where they left or they can use the option and reset to default and then they will be back to the beginning. So in conclusion, this configurator is very innovative. Uh, it keeps users engaged and makes the shopping very fun. Uh, please try out, uh, create your own designs, share with me in the comments what you think about it. And if you like it, this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Uh, comment below your favorite features on this project and thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.